This is Linda's house. She wakes up at 6.20 and takes a glance at her fitness bracelet on her wrist and confirms the time. Good, she thinks. I'm up early. Another glance at her bracelet lets her know that the AC in her car has been running for a few minutes. It started at pretty much the same time as her coffee maker, both triggered by her fitness bracelet, which monitors Linda's sleep and determined she was about to wake up and thus let both Linda's smart home and her smart car know that she was about to start her day. She has a meeting at 9 a.m. The weather and current traffic congestions in the city results in a suggested departure time of 7.40 to make sure she gets to her meeting in time. Her departure time has been calculated by her cloud-based scheduler, which has pulled data from her car's navigation, her calendar, weather info and traffic info, and determined the best time for her. At 7.30, Linda leaves her house and walks out to the garage where her car is parked. It informs her that an important update has been applied to her navigation system, updating her maps and adding new functionality as part of her subscription. The car was connected to the garage's secure Wi-Fi network during the night and the update was received by the car via that network. The update was pushed over the air and applied during the night when the car was parked in the garage. Linda needs to read up on a few additions to the documentation for her morning meeting. So she puts the car into autonomous mode and browses through her documents and some emails that demand her attention. Linda works for a large company which has three offices spread over the city. As part of her company's ongoing commitment for sustainability in the region, they negotiated a fleet package from their car supplier who set them up with a selection of connected vehicles for the employees to use to commute between the offices and other locations in the city. The fleet package did not only contain the vehicles themselves but also a smart scheduling system for the employees to use via their intranet and their smartphones which allowed them to coordinate rides to offices and maximize the use of the cars. Whenever Linda needed to attend a meeting in a remote office the smart scheduling system checked the calendars of all employees that needed to head to the same location and book the same car for them. As each of the employees checked in at the car, they would drive there together, saving money and time and contributing to the company's sustainability program at the same time. As the company grows, they order more cars from their supplier and as the cars are delivered, they are already in the smart scheduling system, ready to be used from day one as well as updated with the right functionalities based on the input from the data received from the vehicles in use by this company already. Linda has an off-site meeting wedged in between her morning meetings and lunch. She gets notified by her bracelet when it is time to leave for the car. Like earlier in the day, her best departure time has been calculated. As she walks to her car, she gets a message pushed to the screen in the car from a friend who's visiting the city and who she hasn't seen in a while. Her friend suggests lunch. She replies and says she would love to have lunch and catch up. The screen in the car instantly suggests three different restaurants, two of which are Thai, based on Linda's preference towards food, within reach for both Linda and her friend, and Linda requests the car to arrange reservations for both at the closest one. The confirmation pops up on Linda's screen and her friend's smartphone within seconds, and Linda's social calendar is updated with the lunch data and pushed through her social network if any other friends want to join. On her way back from the off-site meeting, rain begins to fall. Her car is in autonomous mode while Linda catches up on some messages and adjusts to the road conditions as reported by real-time weather data and sensors in both the car and from the smart road infrastructure in the city. Most of the cars around Linda are connected to the same network and share road friction data between themselves and the cloud to provide accurate road data for cars approaching the area. And those cars closest to Linda all connect to ensure that they keep the distance as they move forward on the highway while the rain pours down and Linda can relax as she drives home. Linda's day has been a smooth journey from beginning to end. The automatic systems that monitor her needs and wants with regard to the use of the car have become almost intuitive in nature. And this ensures that Linda gets optimal use of her car with little or no interaction from Linda herself. As Linda goes about her evening, 
Her car is updating navigation data for her next day, based on her schedule in her online calendar. The car is also uploading car usage data to the cloud in order to better serve her in the future. Some of this data is used to improve the quality of the services right away, as Linda has agreed to share some location data, such as where she had lunch during the day. Future recommendations for her will be based on previous experiences, both from herself and from people in her network. Using cloud data will allow for better sustainability and smarter usage of her car. Linda will get a more frictionless experience, and the developers of the smart devices and services that enable this get more data to further improve their offerings and even create new products that will be offered to Linda and other customers in the future. Companies and partners that provide services to Linda during the day, such as lunch restaurants, media providers and even leasing companies, also get data back from Linda's journey through the day and can tailor their offerings even better to Linda. This ensures a healthy relationship between the OEM and the companies that create and provide these services and make it possible to create services that are tailored to Linda and all other customers in ways that are unique to each and every one of them. Wireless Car. Telematics made easy.